Thank you. It is it's fantastic to be uh, back in California. I, I was in Iraq last month, you guys. And uh, well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, thanks. See, that's the problem when you book a vacation through Priceline. Uh, <laughs> they don't really give you a choice of where they put you up. You know what I mean? I don't recommend the Comfort Inn in West Baghdad. Uh, no, I was... <laughs> I was over there, and, and I don't care how they portray it on the news. This place is crazy scary. I mean, it's hell with the lid off. It's, it's Jersey on a good day. It's bad. It's horrible. <laughs> now, you guys, don't get me wrong. I love the United States of America, and I would fight to defend this country. Just not over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd probably be a better soldier over the phone. You know what I mean? Make a few prank phone calls on behalf of the United States, you know? Do you got Prince Albert in a can? All right, let him out, camel jockey. You know what I mean? Like, I could go that. I could go that. You know, maybe fire up my laptop computer, send bin Laden and the Taliban a chain letter or something like that, you know? And yeah, really, if he didn't forward it, he'd have bad luck, you know what I mean? I would, I'd go to that extra route. Crazy like that. You know what's weird? I've never felt more proud to be an American as when I've been doing these USO tours. We go all over Europe and it's amazing. You love this country and you would think that because America takes care of all these other countries, people would love us. No, people hate our guts. People were giving me crap personally for how bad they say our soldiers abuse. They use the word abuse. Abuse the prisoners in Abu Ghraib. If you guys never followed that story, let me tell you, the worst torture that befell upon those inmates in Abu Ghraib was humiliation. We humiliated them when they were photographed wearing wearing women's panties on their head. I got news for you, there's not a guy in this room <laughs> that hasn't been photographed with women's panties on her head one time or another. Is that torture? No, it's $15 extra and it's worth it. Shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> torture. Torture is what happened to our guys in Vietnam, Hanoi Hilton, guys like Senator John McCain. These guys were, were put on stretching racks and zapped with electricity. And I don't know about you guys, I'm a wuss. I, I have zero threshold for pain. I'm in a POW camp, you give me an Indian sunburn, titty twister, I'm giving up military secrets. I'll tell you that right now. Seriously, one flick at a nipple, what do you want to know? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't even like bad noises, you know? Like fingernails down a chalkboard. Any horrible, disgusting sound, and I'd be there going, okay, I'll tell you anything you want. Just stop playing that damn country music. You're killing me. I can't take it. I can't take it. 